Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are back playing the community map Rebirth. This is the final episode, I hope. And, uh, I really have no idea what I'm doing in this puzzle. I just have no idea. So what I did was, uh, if you'll remember, over in the other puzzle over here, I forget the name of it. Let's go check real quick. I want to show y'all. This one over here... And this one, Exponentially Impossible Ascension. Th this one allows us to break stuff out. So what I did was I broke out a connector and put it up there. And, uh... Used it to get around... To get this laser around this one here. Hoping that maybe it would, like, last long enough to where... I could get the turret to, to stay off long enough or whatever. But I still don't quite have the timing right. Like, even... Even doing stuff outside the puzzle, to my advantage, does not give me the, the right timing. Like, what we need to do is we need to set up something that loops, so that we can alternate these barriers, but it also needs to be... It also needs to make sure that this, uh, this laser receptacle right here is unpowered long enough for us to stand on the button without the turret shooting us, because whenever it's powered, the turret shoots us. Like, we're gonna die right now, for instance, and I'm gonna have to do a cut. Oh wait, what? Okay, I thought we were gonna die, but apparently not. <laughs> I went too early. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, let's do this. I'm gonna try one more time with this method, and, uh, if it doesn't work... ...then, uh, I'll spend a long time and maybe look at the solution, because I have been spending hours on this puzzle... ...and I really have no idea what I'm doing, really. Let's see, so these are going again. We've got the timer going. Let's get in here. Start moving forward, and so I didn't know that you could stand against the exit there, I mean, where the sigil is. I didn't know you could stand there and be safe from the turret. That's- that's news to me. There's definitely not a way for us to get anything in here, really. So can the turret see me if I'm here? Oh, what about- oh, it can see me there. Okay. So let's wait a second. Let's wait for the turret to turn off again. I mean, turn on again. Or, yeah, turn off. Okay, this is not gonna work, but I just want to try it anyway. How did I not die? Ah, <sighs> this is definitely not long enough, and I don't know how to make it longer. Like, I have tried so many different configurations of these lasers, and I just can't make it long enough. Like, it, it, I- this is the longest delay that I figured out how to make. That also actually allows me to get through here. I don't know. Alright, I'll do more- I'll do more messing around off-camera, I suppose. Wait, 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 what? You connect the first one? As well? To the others? I mean, to the- the thing that toggles everything? How's that supposed to work? Uh, okay. <laughs> I guess we should try that out, then. Uh, let's get rid of all of these real quick. So. Let's do this. Do that. But then... The issue is... You know, I did mention... A long time- actually, it's in deleted footage that I don't have anymore, but I was- I had a lot of footage recorded of me trying to solve this puzzle, and one of the things that I discussed... ...was trying to only alternate it a certain number of times and then stopping. But I came to the conclusion... ...that it has to be an infinite loop. And maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe it doesn't actually have to be an infinite loop. 
how would we make that work? I should try connecting everything for the, the heck of it, you know. And then see what we can do. Like, I'm pretty sure... There was some other thing I- in more deleted footage where somehow a laser- the laser from this was like crossing all the beams simultaneously, but... Yeah, see that only- that only blocks that one. What if I connect it to all of them? That doesn't do much good. Is there gonna be some sort of laser light show magic going on here? Well, what is even happening right now? What? How many times did it alternate? Hang on. Let me see that again. Wait, really? That's close. It's, uh, the opposite of what we want. It ends... That is so strange. I had... You can... I thought that the way this worked is that it had to be an indefinite loop, but no, it actually alternated a certain number of times and stopped. I didn't know that was possible. Oh man, this reminds me of the fourth dimension. Didn't we have to do something like- like this in the fourth dimension? How can we... How can we change this so that... Instead of ending on... Well, this is the last one that stays lit, so what if we just got rid of it? And then we restart the sequence. Let's see, can we get in through here? Oh, it's not even alternating now. Hmm. Huh. So this is the one that was doing all the heavy lifting. Somehow this was... Okay. What if we, uh... If we remove this guy's connection? Does this do anything? Oh well. <laughs> no, it's not gonna... Of course it's not gonna do anything. What's powering this right now? Hang on a minute. Oh! <laughs> it bootstrapped itself. There we go. I was like, what the heck is powering it? Okay, well that didn't really do anything at all. What if... can we power... oh well, I have to go unbootstrap it real quick. Oh, this is close, but we have... What? Why did it... Okay, that was strange. I want to see that again. Oh, it... it bootstraps itself. Not, not the tree. There we go. Yeah, it still messes up. I feel like I'm... close, at least. What 
happens if I just connect this? Like that. No, that's not gonna do anything. Does that do anything? It doesn't bootstrap itself, so that's progress. Hang on, that might be it. Let's- let's try that again. So let's see, we get in here... Go here, go here... Is that- is that the last... Holy crap, I think that's it! Let's see, let's try this. Please work, please work. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing, really. But man, I needed that hint! That- that hint! That hint made my day! Okay. Wow, that actually worked! Man, I thought it had to be an infinite looping sequence! Apparently not! Okay, well! We did it! I think that is the first thing that I've had to look at the solution videos for. Whew, <sighs> finally. I have not gotten word back yet about, uh... a light in the attic, so... we'll probably have to look at the solution video for that. But, we do... have all the sigils, so let's go ahead and, while we can, we'll complete the map. We can- we can backdate our save if we need to- if we need to in order to, to replay Light in the Attic, but man! This is THE final episode, as I said earlier, so... If you can't tell from the title, I do not want to record any more after this. <laughs> this map has been a lot of fun. I have really enjoyed this map. But man, these last few puzzles are just really tough. And they are grating on my brain. What did I... okay, well... What about that? Take that. Uh, that's not gonna work. Uh, that's also not going to work. That could work. Maybe. That's not... that's not good. Uh... What about that? Is that helpful? No, that, that leaves that, and we can't really do much about that. This is probably gonna be the rest of the episode right here, so you might as well sit back and relax. Get your snacks, as Etha would say. Oh! <laughs> what the? Uh... Oh, <laughs> that was scary. I accidentally right-clicked on my desktop, and I couldn't see where the mouse was. That's not gonna work. Is there any way to fill in this hole? Not entirely. We could do that. How do we fill that in? We don't, because that can't be filled in. Oh, that's gonna cause an issue right there. It's this... I can't do anything with that. What about that? Is that it? Hey, that's it. There we go. On to the final gate. <laughs> 
Let's see... These- these- these zigzag guys, these are the bane of my existence. I don't know, my brain just doesn't work properly when they're in the room. Oh, that's not good. What about... no, that's not gonna work. That's not how any of this works. Is that possible? Hey, that's possible! <coughs> oh my gosh, those tetraminos must be made out of asbestos. Exit! <laughs> we are finally here. Oh man, there's, uh, yeah. I broke a lot of puzzles, then I resolved some of them intendedly. There's still a couple I broke and need to resolve, like, uh, Light in the Attic and. Hole in. No, not Hole in the Wall. A Light in the Attic. Oh my gosh, I forgot the other one. What was the other one? Look at the change notes. Entrance to nothing. Right, right. So, a light in the attic and entrance to nothing are ones that I have broken, and I still need to replay the correct way, but... We are done! <laughs> we have all the sigils. It just says, well done. Awesome. Well... We're on top of the roof, which is cool. Oh. We got the credits! Created by Moose Moose. Testers? Katamari, Main G, Innocentive. Oh my gosh, Innocentive tested this. Viribus, Special Thanks, Soleus, uh, as a Haster Maker, Crow Team for creating an amazing game, and to anyone whom I may have missed. Oh, and it just drops me on the menu. Okay, what happens if I continue? What? Uh, hello? Oh, that was weird. Like, the game was- was acting like it wasn't in focus. Wait, what? Hold to skip. Wait, this is part of the cutscene? This is part of the ending? What's- what's happening here? I don't actually understand what's going on right now. Oh, now it's finally fading, or is that... What, did it launch the menu as a sub-process of... What? How... How... What? I think the game is totally borked out. <laughs> uh, here. What? That make... What? What? What even happened there? <laughs> what happens if I hit continue? What? That is... Okay, that is not how this is supposed to happen, I think. Alright. <laughs> Let us restore... Backup. Here we go. Let's see, do we have everything? Yes. Alright, so... What did I wanna... I already forgot what I was gonna do. I wanted to restore backup for something. But I don't remember now. Oh yeah, we do wanna... we try... we wanna try this one in the special world, but... I think I will leave that up to y'all, because I have had quite a, my fill of this... uh, these maps. These were some excellent puzzles, I really enjoyed it. But they were very challenging, and I have a headache whenever I play this now, because they're just... They're so tricky to think about for some reason. Really excellent puzzles, Moose Moose. You did an amazing job. Thanks to all the playtesters, thanks to all the people in the credits. And, uh... I'm glad I could be of service to you by finding those exploits and stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, I did notice... 
Uh, in the description here, let me check this. Let's see... Not sure if I can realistically fix crevices. Okay, so, the issue with crevices... Let me- let me go show you what the issue is here. Because crevices can be fixed quite easily, actually. It's actually fixed in the prototype area, just not in the actual puzzle. Unless they're talking about a different break than I'm talking about, but, uh... Like, this here is the problem, that you can get the, uh, you can put the jammers through here, and then once you have both of the jammers inside, you can just go blah 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 like that, you can use both of them to alternate through here and not- never have to use the buttons. But if you go look at the prototype, that isn't an issue, because it's fixed in the prototype, so it actually- it was an actual regression from the original design. Let's see, the prototype is... how do we get to it? I don't remember... oh, right, behind this- yeah. Right here, duh. <laughs> Where else would it be? So let's see, I think it is over here somewhere. One of these, I think. If my memory served me correctly. Nope. That's the one that still needs to be solved. Radio relay, that's the one that I broke and then resolved. Hole in the wall, that's the one that I broke and then resolved. Extension, that's the one I solved really quickly, apparently. One flew, that's the one that Moose Moose told me wasn't the intended solution, but was close enough, because it was rigorous enough. A light in the attic, this is the one that I still, still need to solve, because I did it wrong. <sighs> and then, uh... I thought it was on this side, wasn't it? Trust exercise, no? Okay. We're gonna find it, because I'm gonna show what I'm talking about here. I'm talking here. <laughs> of mine. And this one doesn't have a name, but I think we figured out which one it was at some point. Ah, yeah, this one is the... This is Interruption. George of the Jungle, one of the first ones we did. Jumping the fence. One that I broke and then resolved. Entrance to nothing, the one that I broke and I still have to resolve. Crevices, here we go. So if you'll look here, this fixes the problem. At least I think it does. Let's see, is there. There is not. Is, unless there's. Okay, so never mind, this is not- this is not fixed the problem. I don't know what I was thinking, okay, never mind, Moose Moose is right, it's unfixable. <laughs> Cause there's no way... There's no way to make it, unless he like, did some sort of weird special scripting or whatever. Oh wait, this is... Wait, this is fixed! What? Hang on a minute. Yeah, this is fixed. What am I talking about? Yeah, so you can't- you can't bring the jammers in here. Which you would need to do... in order to do the- the exploit. But you can bring the box around over to here, and just put it through here, right? Well... Looks like it's not working right now, I guess. Okay, so maybe it's still broken then. <laughs> definitely broken here. Okay, so, yeah, it- it needs some work, but oh, basically... The issue is that you need to find a way to allow the box through, but not the jammers. And I think this actually- if this was working, it would be fine. Yeah, cuz, if you weren't able to walk through here at all... And you could place anything you want in here, but you'd have to pick it back up again because you can't actually get in there unless the, the puzzle is solved. Yeah, you'd have to actually solve the puzzle 
with the buttons here to be able to go in there once you put something on that site. So this version is actually fixed. I know I've been flipping back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, but yeah, this is, this is, this is fixed here. This is how you would fix it. You put the, the, the fizzler in front of the barriers, and then you put the crevice, uh, on the solution side. And that would fix it. But it would probably take too much to, to redo the puzzle. I mean, uh, to rearrange stuff in the puzzle. So yeah, that's it. That's, that's basically everything. That is Rebirth. Except a couple solutions that you'll have to look up on your own because I didn't solve the puzzle appropriately. I do not want to continue this series any further, so if we ever do return to this, it will be in a live stream of some sort. If ever. So as always, thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next series. Not the next episode, the next series. Look out for an episode zero coming to a YouTube near you.